Hello, this is Ariana Antonio for Immersive Application Deployment uh, 1501, and I'll be going over my achievements in this video. So first of all, the type of service that I plan on using for the achievements will just be parse. Uh, that's what I used last week for the leaderboards, and I'll just continue on that. I'll probably just make an additional uh, table on parse that keeps track of the type of achievements possible and maybe a Boolean value for whether or not that user has achieved that achievement. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it should be relatively simple. In terms of how many I plan on creating, uh, I haven't made an exhaustive list of every single one. A lot of that will probably be felt out while I'm doing it, but I'd like to start with at least 10 uh, and then more can be added from there as I go. Um, especially since when you're calculating something like a score or whatever, it's easy to add that of, well, we'll start the first one you get at 25 and the next one at 50 and the next one at 150 or whatever. Um, so in terms of uh, some of the achievements examples, one of which will be score based. So like I said, since it's uh, an integers of one, two, three, that sort of stuff, a pretty simple sort of scoring system. Uh, the first one will probably be if you reach a score of 25 and then 50 and that score is based on um, you know if you successfully navigate past a log um, so it, that one easy just score based there will be another one um, you also get power-ups if you eat every increment of five burgers that you eat that come down excuse me down the river and so uh, I will also have achievements based on how many burgers you eat within a given game so once you eat you know say 25 or 30, I'll, I'll probably change it up a little bit than the log so it's not the exact same numbers. But um, so I'll also have achievements based on the number of burgers you eat. Um, and then I also have another one that's uh, if you almost have like a perfect game where, uh, you know, you can have a collision with the log, it can bump you back towards the bear. So if you get a, a score above a certain amount, I'll have to figure out what that threshold is. Um, and you complete the game. Uh, or not complete it, but by the time you die, if you haven't had any collisions with any logs, uh, that will be another achievement. Um, you know, it could be like swimming ninja, you know, like you're awesome because you always avoid the logs or something like that. And then those will be based on, uh, you know, how high your score is and passing the logs. And you can get those like, say, if you pass 25 without hitting a log, then you get one or, you know, sort of a similar system as the other two. So most of the achievements will be based on that. Um, on just increments of um, score and that sort of stuff. but So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, um, and I'm looking forward to getting started on it. Uh, thanks so much. Bye.